from Crema Media in Johannesburg, this is a Real Economy Report. Royal Components manufacturer Alstom Abunye last month inaugurated its 80,000 square meter modernized factory in Nigel in Gauteng. Malene Arnoldi tells us more about the site. The factory was established in 1957 and was acquired by French multinational Alstom in 2016 to form the Alstom Abunye local company. The company then modernized the facility to cater for a contract it has with Kibela Rail Transport Consortium for the supply of components equivalent to 150 trains. In turn, Gibella is supplying 600 trains to the Passenger Rail Agency of South Africa to replace South Africa's aging metro rail fleet. Alstom Abunye CEO Xavier Boygontier tells us more about the company. So here we are in Alstom Abunye in Nigel. Um, this is, um, what we are doing now in, in this site is we are manufacturing components for the train. So let me explain a bit what are the components and what we do and how we do that. So when I talk components, I talk about the bogies, I talk about traction system, I talk about static inverters, looming or cabling system, cubicles, electrical cubicles, um, passenger information system, uh, um, static inverters, so this is what we do for the new fleet of Praza. And we started, the, this journey started for us in 2016. Alstom Mubunye, if I may say so, was born in 2016. It's an existing company and Alstom bought 51% of this company in April 2016. So to do so now, to, to, to deliver all these components, we had to launch a massive transfer of technology program, to launch a modernization program, and, and this is where we are now. So we have completed the modernization of the site, uh, and we have uh, we, uh, brought new processes, we have brought new product, new machines, and now we are ready to deliver our components. We have already started, actually, obviously. The Alstom Abunia factory employs 565 people across nine workshops with local manufacturing capabilities. The facility also uses two automated welding robots complementing 100 certified welders in the facility. Boy Gontier explains the activities on site. What you've seen in the factory and, and what we will uh, expose to the world, if I may say so, on Thursday during the opening, uh, um, is um, so we do what we call end on the frame. End on the frame are equipment that go uh, below your, uh, your body shell. And they're very safety critical equipment. So we, we do, uh, from, the very, from the basic steel, we'll do all the welding activity, the testing activity, the machining activity, the painting activity. Um, the same thing for the buggy frame. Uh, we, we manufacture the buggy frame from scratch. So we do the, the side beam, we put everything together, we weld everything together, we do some testing. As you've seen, we have brought new robots. We have some robots that do some welding on, on, on the frame. And then we test them, which is critical. It's a safety equipment, so we need to test them. We qualify them, then we do, we do the fitting. Once we have the frame, we put together all the equipment. Your motors, in case of motor or buggies, uh, um, uh, your braking device, your, uh, all the equipment that are needed to have a complete buggy. And, and, and so that's for the carbon steel and the buggy, the body equipment. Then for the looming, the looming are the cables, the cables, sorry. So we do all the cabling system for the trains. Cabling, are, I think that you don't usually see when you onboard the trains, because they are on the roof, they are uh, on the frame, they are inside the train, but you don't see them, but they're critical because they connect all the electrical equipment. What type of equipment? Traction equipment. So traction equipment, we start from a frame, and then we put all the equipment inside, your control, your electronic, uh, 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 the cabling, obviously. We put that together, we test them, and then we deliver them. Alstom Abunye was in the process of ramping up to full nominal mode, which will see it supply 62 bogies and end under frames, 20 traction cases, 10 static converters, and looming and passenger information systems each month to Gibella. Boy Gontier shares some of the details of the contract. If we put all together the components, so the different type of components, your bogey, your end on the frame, your cables, your looming, your passenger information system, all the product that we supply, we're talking about close to 150 products per train, uh, uh, and times the number of trains, obviously. And, 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 and for Ubunye for now, the quantity is 150 trains, and we hope that we will be able to, deliver, to demonstrate our performances in terms of quality, in terms of on-time delivery, in terms of budget, and that then we'll be able to uh, join the new call for tender process and be able to secure more uh, for the company. Other news making headlines. M2 motorway reopened to motorists. The M2 motorway between the Crown Interchange and Maritzburg Street in Johannesburg 
is officially reopened on time and on budget. Well, I think uh, one thing that I really want to really uh, apologize and apologize uh, profoundly to our residents uh, for the inconvenience we caused them uh, the last uh, year or so. But it was really necessary. But I know it is something that any government have to really has to really apologize because it was not an easy decision. It inconvenienced them uh, through uh, taking long to, to, to really travel. At the same time, expose them to the high levels of of crime because of diversion of the roads but at the end of the day it was really very necessary so please sincerely i hope that you can accept my apology that's cream media's real economy report join us again next week for more news and insights into south africa's real economy and don't forget to listen to the audio version of our engineering news daily email newsletter